On behalf of Bank of California and our executive team, many of whom are here today, our, our distinguished board members, Chad Brownstein, Eric Holloman, my co-founder of the bank, Jeff Siebold, uh, really appreciate the opportunity to talk to you about this morning's commitment. As, as you discussed, we shared the stage this past November for what became the world's largest financial literacy event, really meaningful in Los Angeles, because it's important to um, help the community and the low to moderate income community see the path to financial freedom. California has the nation's highest GDP, but it also has the highest supplemental poverty rate in the country, with nearly a quarter of its citizens living in po poverty. Nearly a million families in California do not have access to the base, a basic bank account, leaving them largely unable to participate in our financial system. In order to better understand how we can support these communities, last year Bank of California engaged in an important dialogue with civic leaders about the needs of low to moderate income communities across the state. And during these communications, it became clear that these organizations felt that bank community development funds were far too often focused more on simply maximizing profits instead of also focusing on how to deploy capital to maximize societal benefits. Today, the Bank of California along with the 41st mayor of Los Angeles, Mayor Villaraigosa, and our partners at the California Reinvestment Coalition, including their distinguished executive director, Paulina Gonzalez, join us here today and are committing to create a public welfare fund with at least 12 other leading California banks. We'll, ut we'll utilize the expertise of California's leading community leaders to evaluate investment opportunities based on the prospective benefits that they offer to low to moderate income communities. In order to comprehensively address the root causes of poverty, the $200 million in capital raised by the fund over the next three years will be deployed with a focus on affordable housing, community development, small and micro enterprise lending, and asset building and financial education. By assessing the needs of low-income communities up front and utilizing the input of respected community leaders to evaluate the investments as part of the underwriting process to better determine the fund's potential for impact, our banks will better be able to address the needs of historically underserved communities in California. I want to thank you and I want to thank your team at CGI for your leadership in creating this forum to serve as a catalyst for in improving the economic conditions of the underserved communities and for enabling us to further this important cause.